Burn the infection! In the sprawling realm of comic book legends, few characters have captured the imagination quite like Anti-Venom. With a fusion of supernatural origins, a distinctive physique, and a dazzling array of powers, Anti-Venom stands as a proof to the limitless creativity of the comic book world. As we delve into the anatomy of this character, we'll uncover the secrets that make Anti-Venom a force of sheer might. Anti-Venom's unique qualities will leave you in awe. Join us as we explore the world of the symbiotic hero, where the boundaries of science and fiction blur into a mesmerizing tapestry of abilities. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Who is Anti-Venom? What does he look like? When Eddie Brock and the Venom symbiote went their separate ways, something incredible happened. Traces of the symbiote were left behind in Eddie's body lying dormant. Now, Eddie was no stranger to struggle. He battled cancer and found solace as a volunteer at the FEAST Center, a refuge for those in need. It was here that he crossed paths with Martin Lee, a man who, concealed from all, had a sinister alter ego as the supervillain, Mr. Negative. In a twist of fate, or perhaps destiny, Lee used his extraordinary powers to cure Eddie's cancer. Little did they know that this act would set off a chain of events that would give birth to a new extraordinary being. As Lee's powers mingled with the remnants of the symbiote within Eddie's bloodstream, a unique fusion occurred. The symbiote became entwined with Eddie's white blood cells, creating a symbiotic hybrid that would later be known as Anti-Venom. Anti-Venom was unlike anything seen before. It possessed incredible healing abilities and a host of powers that set it apart from its predecessor, the Venom symbiote. It had the remarkable capacity to produce antibodies capable of curing any known disease and purging impurities from a human body. But here's the problem. Unlike other symbiotes, Anti-Venom was completely mindless, allowing Eddie Brock to be the one pulling the strings. As fascinating as Anti-Venom's existence was, it met its end when it was used as a last-ditch cure for the spider virus. But its legacy forever etched in the annals of comic book history lives on. Appearance? What unique traits define Anti-Venom's mutated symbiote biology? For all symbiotes, it's all about the muscle those tough, sinewy tentacles that make them a daunting force. You see, even when they don't have a host to latch onto, symbiotes are far from feeble. They may not have a body type, but they've got muscle and plenty of it. But let's focus on Anti-Venom's mutated symbiote biology. As we know, due to his unique origin, it's slightly different from Anti-Venom. This symbiote is no ordinary creature. It possesses a remarkable ability to mimic any type of clothing, blending seamlessly with its host. This talent allows it to adapt to its surroundings, effectively rendering anti-venom invisible when needed. But that's just the beginning. This symbiote takes things up a notch by enhancing all of its host's physical abilities to levels that defy human limits. In fact, it cranks those abilities up to superhuman levels, rivaling and in some cases surpassing the likes of the legendary Spider-Man himself. He's anti-venom again! Harry, you okay? Why Spider-Man's Spider-Sense does not work against anti-venom's attack. There is another shocker that Anti-Venom has for us, his immunity to Spider-Man's famed Spider-Sense. You see, there's a fascinating backstory to this intriguing phenomenon. The Venom symbiote, in its early days, had a special connection with none other than Spider-Man himself, who served as its first host. This connection runs deep, and it's precisely the connection that sets the stage for Anti-Venom's ability. As the symbiote's offspring, Anti-Venom inherits a certain advantage. When Anti-Venom strikes, there's no tingling spidey sense, no warning signs for the web-slinger. The connection to the original host Spider-Man is precisely what allows Anti-Venom to bypass that iconic spider sense. In essence, Anti-Venom becomes a tough adversary, immune to one of Spider-Man's most relied upon defenses. This immunity adds a thrilling layer of complexity to their battles and gives us the thrill we always crave for.
Is he more powerful than Spider-Man? The power struggle between Anti-Venom and Spider-Man adds an interesting layer to their encounters. You see, Anti-Venom possesses a unique ability that makes the battle difficult for the web-slinger. It all boils down to spider-power negation. Anti-Venom, with a symbiotic prowess, can cleanse Spider-Man of any lingering symbiote remnants. He even once aimed to completely drain the radiation coursing through Spidey's veins. For those wondering how this can happen, here's an interesting fact for you guys. Spider-Man's abilities were born from exposure to radiation, an impurity that took root in his bloodstream. If Anti-Venom had gone all the way and successfully rid Peter of this radiation, it would have been game over for Spidey. His power would have vanished, leaving him utterly defenseless, so no more Spider-Man for us. Luckily, that didn't happen during their encounter. While Anti-Venom didn't completely erase Spidey's powers, he did manage to cast a shadow over them. Whenever Anti-Venom got too close to Peter, his powers took a hit. It's like a dimming light, a gradual loss of Spidey's remarkable abilities, thanks to Anti-Venom's mere presence. And when you throw in the fact that Anti-Venom could dance around Spider-Man's spider sense, it made Eddie Brock a nearly invisible force in the world of the wall crawler. Does he have a power like Spider-Man's spidey sense? Anti-Venom isn't just a one-trick symbiote. He's got an ace up his sleeve that's similar to Spider-Man's famous spider sense, the danger sense. Now, while it's not as intricate as Spidey's built-in alarm system, it has its own advantages. This power allows Anti-Venom to detect danger from all directions, offering Brock a heads up when trouble's afoot. What sets it apart is its lightning-fast response time. Anti-Venom doesn't waste a second when the danger sign signal lights up, and thanks to the symbiote's enhancements, Eddie's reflexes are even quicker than those of Spider-Man himself. Anti-Venom can sidestep a gunshot or nimbly evade a barrage of bullets at close range. This enhanced danger sense doesn't just keep him on his toes, it practically makes him a moving fortress of defense. How does Anti-Venom know everything about the person he physically touches? Anti-Venom possesses an extraordinary ability that delves into genetic memory. This power allows the symbiote to gain a deep understanding of not just its host, but anyone it touches. With a simple touch, Anti-Venom can tap into the memories of those it makes contact with. Their life experiences, their knowledge, all of it becomes accessible to Anti-Venom. It's like having an entire library of information at your fingertips, ready to be used in the heat of battle. This remarkable skill grants Anti-Venom a tactical edge, giving him insights into the minds and experiences of his adversaries. However, it's worth noting that the power comes with a catch. Heavy trauma can force the symbiote to forget the gathered information. But when it's in control, Anti-Venom becomes a walking repository of knowledge, an attribute that elevates its prowess in the ever-chaotic world of superheroes and symbiotes. How does Spider-Man get the Anti-Venom suit? The tale of Spider-Man obtaining the Anti-Venom suit in Marvel Spider-Man 2 is a pivotal moment that sets the stage for the final act of the game. With the assistance of his trusty ally, Miles Morales, Peter Parker manages to shed the symbiote suit. However, the symbiote suit doesn't stay dormant for long. It finds a new host and evolves into the formidable Venom. Venom, now on a mission to infect the citizens of New York City, creates a massive hive mind to conquer the city. And here's where the plot thickens. Peter, having bonded with the symbiote for a significant duration, finds a part of his consciousness trapped within the symbiote hive mind. The only path to free him from this predicament is an intense clash between the symbiote and Mr. Negative's potent life force energy. This epic showdown results in Peter Parker being bestowed with anti-venom powers. A slick new suit emerges, adorned in white, with a striking black spider logo on the front and back, along with black lenses. These powers are harnessed from Mr. Negative's residual energy, granting Peter the capability to wield the life force for an array of anti-venom attacks. This newfound power proves incredibly effective against symbiote enemies, quickly weakening them in comparison to regular attacks. What's even more exciting is that these powers don't just fade away when the game's story concludes. After the credits roll, players can freely roam the city with the anti-venom suit, keeping the action going even after the main adventure concludes. The origin of the anti-venom suit in Marvel's Spider-Man 2 bears a striking resemblance to the anti-venom suit seen more recently in the comics. In this comic run, when Flash Thompson, the military-like Agent Venom, becomes bonded with the Venom symbiote once more, Spider-Man administers an anti-venom serum. This transforms Flash into Agent Anti-Venom, giving him a sleek, stark white appearance. 
with black lenses and a black spider logo, a look quite akin to Marvel's Spider-Man 2's version of Anti-Venom. It's a thrilling convergence of comic book lore and video game storytelling, enriching the world of Spider-Man with newfound intrigue and power. Could Anti-Venom destroy any symbiote with a single touch? The Anti-Venom symbiote, renowned for its remarkable healing abilities, possesses a dark side when it comes to its interactions with other symbiotes. It all began when the Venom symbiote attempted to bond with Eddie Brock once more. Little did it know that its approach would be met with a scorching surprise. You see, the moment that the Anti-Venom symbiote enveloped Eddie, it unleashed a blistering touch that sent the Venom symbiote recoiling in agony. This unique trait, the ability to obliterate other symbiotes without the troublesome side effects, made Anti-Venom completely immune to the allure of bonding with other symbiotes. It was a power that set Eddie Brock apart. But as with any ability, there were limitations. When Anti-Venom used too many of its precious healing antibodies to cure others, it left itself vulnerable. The Venom symbiote even managed to exploit this vulnerability, briefly rebonding with Eddie while Anti-Venom needed time to recharge. Physically, the Anti-Venom symbiote is an example of boasting strength and speed on par with the original Venom. However, what truly sets it apart is its extraordinary cleansing powers, rendering it toxic to other symbiotes. It's like kryptonite to these creatures. Does he have an organic web? Anti-Venom possesses a fantastic gift that's truly a game-changer in the world of web-slinging and combat. The symbiote within Anti-Venom's veins enables him to shoot out strands of a unique alien substance, a webbing like no other. This extraordinary webbing is crafted from tough and flexible fibers of organic polymers, making it an extraordinary creation. What is memorizing is its ability to swiftly regenerate after being expended. However, obviously there's a catch to this remarkable power. Since the webbing is essentially essentially a part of Anti-Venom's costume, using it extensively can have its consequences. When Anti-Venom goes all out and deploys an excess of webbing, it leaves the symbiote temporarily exhausted, unable to replenish its lost mass for a brief period. This momentary vulnerability is a window of opportunity that a clever adversary like Spider-Man can exploit, turning the tables in their favor. But the webbing isn't the symbiote's only trick. Anti-Venom can also manipulate the symbiote to form tentacles or tendrils, which come in handy for both offense and defense. These versatile appendages add an extra layer of versatility to Anti-Venom's already impressive of arsenal. He can cure any disease with a single touch. Anti-Venom's powers are a medical marvel, and they're not just about the brute force. One of the standout abilities in his arsenal is regeneration, and it's more than just speedy wound healing. The symbiote within Anti-Venom has a capacity to mend injuries in its hosts at a pace that surpasses normal human healing. But here's where it gets truly astonishing. It can tackle illnesses and injuries that modern medicine can't touch. Yes, that includes diseases as uncurable as cancer. In fact, Anti-Venom's healing prowess is so advanced that he can shrug off a shotgun wound to the head in mere seconds, a feat that would be fatal for anyone else. But the true magic of Anti-Venom's healing touch doesn't stop with himself. He's not just a self-sustaining medical miracle. He's a healer for others, too. Beyond simply curing diseases, Anti-Venom can help people overcome drug habits and even strip toxins from their bodies. In certain cases, Anti-Venom's powers extend even further. He has the potential to cure superhumans of their superpowers. Well, at least some. Take for instance his encounters with Spider-Man. The web-slinger was constantly on edge when facing Anti-Venom, knowing that his abilities were at risk. It led to some intense battles and a true test of Spidey's mettle. Anti-Venom does not have weakness of sonic waves like other symbiotes. When it comes to symbiotes like Venom and Carnage, they have a set of vulnerabilities that can be exploited. But when we shift our focus to Anti-Venom, we uncover a striking contrast. Anti-Venom doesn't dance to the same tune as other symbiotes when it comes to weaknesses. First on the list is his immunity to fire and extreme heat. He's got a fireproof shield that lets him stand up against even the Punisher's fiery flamethrower. He can endure scorching temperatures that would immobilize Venom if it ever lost control. The heat doesn't faze him. He's as cool as ice in a blaze. Anti-Venom doesn't crumble in the face of sonic attacks either. Unlike the classic symbiote response of agony and vulnerability, Anti-Venom stands strong in the face of sonic-based assaults. Even Songbird's powerful sonic blasts barely make him flinch. 
This remarkable resilience sets Antivenom apart from his symbiote cousins, making it a challenge to take him down. His unique immunity to fire, heat, and sonic frequencies makes him different from the symbiote family, and definitely stronger amongst all. Does he have any weaknesses? Even a powerhouse like Antivenom has its Achilles heel, and it's crucial to understand these chinks in the symbiote's armor. One notable weakness is its extreme vulnerability to a poison concocted by Norman Osborn. This venomous brew, created using a mix of the Freak's powers and Mr. Negative's Dark Force abilities, can wreak havoc on the symbiote. When exposed to this sinister potion, the symbiote's powers are temporarily brought to a standstill. It's a blow that leaves Antivenom in a weakened state, at least until Mr. Negative's dark energy no longer taints the symbiote's essence. Another chink in the symbiote's armor comes from within. Overusing its incredible healing abilities can take a toll on the symbiote, weakening it to the point where it becomes vulnerable to attacks, especially from other symbiotes. This self-imposed vulnerability can be exploited by adversaries who know how to press the right buttons. So, as unassailable as Anti-Venom may seem, these weaknesses serve as a reminder that even the mightiest have their vulnerable moments. Marvelous Verdict At the end of this journey, it's safe to conclude that Anti-Venom is a character that defies convention and exceptions. Its distinctive physique, incredible powers, and fascinating anatomical details make it a standout figure in the pantheon of superheroes. The immunity to fire, resistance to sonic waves, and the incredible ability to heal diseases with a single touch paint a portrait of an extraordinary character. As we wrap up our journey into the depths of Anti-Venom's anatomy, one thing becomes abundantly clear. The world of comics continues to push the boundaries of imagination, crafting heroes and anti-heroes that capture our hearts and minds. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.